Welcome to AL Development with an open source alternative to VS Code. Hey, I'm Eric, and um, we all love uh, Visual Studio Code. I think I can I'll say that with confidence, but it's kind of weird that, you know, this is a an open source product from Microsoft, but when you download it, when you install it, what you're getting it's not the result of what's open sourced. It's there's more, there's telemetry, there's lots of Microsoft bits in VS Code that's not open source. And maybe, maybe you know, you want to stick it to the man, or you you, you actually f would feel better if you were running something that was true open source on your machine and so on. And now there is an alternative to VS Code. Uh, but the interesting part here is that this is not a crappy uh, alternative to VS Code. This is basically VS Code, but not VS Code. So this is VS Codium. Um, and um, this is basically the open source version of VS Code. So if we take all the source code that Microsoft have open sourced and we just compile it we would get a uh, a version of VS code that is not Microsoftified uh, and uh, so these guys actually did that and this is VS Codium um, and you know judging from the the screenshot this looks just like the VS code um and there's lots of things that we can we can read about but why read about it when we can try it so sure let me download this thing and what i want to do is is figure out can i do al development with this one can i use this instead of vs code to do my al development uh you know this is this kind of the uh the the, the very safe way to be a rebel uh, and and there's m lots of installers here so clearly this thing can run anywhere so this can run on on arm on linux on i think i saw some for for mac os and uh, more linux and different version of of windows and i think down here there's a user setup so a x64 64 bit version that will run on um installed under the user on the current user so let's download that and see what happens so this one is 80 mix and i have i cannot actually remember how big the installer for vs code is um so we get a warning because this is probably not this is not assigned to executable so we need to go in and say hey this is we're going to keep this and show more and keep anyway and now we can use it so let's open this install and see what happens if any ah oh, hit start on a different screen so here it is uh mit license and we accept we install it vs codium we do not want it to register fear fault types and not add it to the path uh, let's install it so it installs into app data local programs vs codium which is great um, okay launch that was easy and it launches on a different screen than where we run the installer. Come on. So this, you know, this looks like VS Code. Let me actually make it bigger, get started with VS Code. It's even saying that on the screen here. I'll go dark, mark done. Um, and, you know, all of this, well, it says VS Codium, but but if we look at it, well, it it looks it looks normal. Um, but let's go down to extensions. Oh, 
in the search for extension in Marketplace and Python and GitHub and YAML and all sorts of things that we don't need right now. So let's type in AL here. Uh, and then th the first real sign that this is something different because the AL language is not here. Uh, none of the, what about Waldo's thing? No, Waldo was not found here. Um, so, but let's uh, hit the three dots and see. Okay, so we can install from a VX, V, how do, what, what do we say? Do we say V6? Do we say VSX or, I don't know, VS9? Um, so let's grab the AL language file. You can just grab it out of a Docker container on port 8080. Here it is for download. So this is downloaded. Let's go back to VS Codium and then hit the three dots installed from Visk. And that's the one we just downloaded. Something is installing. Let's see if there's anything to see anywhere. Uh, output. Completed installation of AL language extension for V6. Uh, that was easy. Installed. All this looks good. Uh, hmm. So. Yeah, let's go. How easy is that? Uh, project YouTube VS Codium. Let's call that. We got a target. Sure, we trust YouTube. Who wouldn't? Extensions has been modified on disk. Please reload the window. Mm -hmm. I don't remember seeing that in regular VS Code. Anyway, your own server. My server is called BC20. Let's see if we can download AL download symbols. I need to put a username and a password for my Docker. Symbols has been downloaded. We got symbols here. Hello world from VS what vs codium i guess the name is 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 a wordplay on on you know the chrome browser and the edge browser is built on chromium uh so this is this is i guess this is wordplay on that can we build our app we can build our app everything is almost boringly is that a word uh, the same i'll hit a five we deploy it. No questions asked. We're logging into the Docker container. And our app is published. Okay, so let's give it one more go here. I want to try one more thing. Let's uh, just create a few. Hang on. There was a semicolon on the on in the new template. Where did that come from? Huh, that's not a... Yeah, okay, var x is an integer. Uh, y is text. x equal to 45. y equal format x. And now we have a bit of code and we can put a breakpoint on this one. Does the debugger also work here? So I deploy again. And it's blinking down here. We got a debugger. We got variables. Uh, everything seems to, to work. Hit a five. There we go.
that's uh, VS Codium. So if you feel like, you know, maybe I want to know exactly what I'm running on my PC. Maybe uh, some of you, if some of you want to try this out and see working with this, uh, some of you who have huge solutions, that would be interesting actually, huge solutions. Um, is, is this faster than VS Code? Is, is the, how much extra luggage does VS Code have of, of Microsoft features and services that we might not need to do our AL coding? Or is there something that you cannot get to work in this one? I want to know, comments below. Because um, I, I, I might just take this one for for a spin for a bit uh, and see if, uh, if I can see anything different with it. I think it's pretty cool and I, I, I applaud people who actually go the the, the, the extra mile of uh, <laughs> doing this kind of legwork. Um, so that's pretty cool and, and VS Codium, how cool is that name anyway? Um, let me know in the comments below and when you're done with uh, writing comments, go watch this one. That's especially for you. See you there. Bye.